Good morning guys. It's only bloody Friday everybody. Yes. We are waking up in Newbury now. And uh, it was a bit of a busy night to be fair. About an hour after I'd parked. Uh, we had the guy come with the Moffat to deliver to Poundland. No, not Poundland. Pets at home. So that was a bit of, you know, you get used to noises in the background anyway. Like, but that was in the background. Um, and then a little while later, um, we had a set of travellers come and park next door on the car park as well. So it was a bit, oh dear, it was a bit louder than that then while they were setting up the caravans and the generator going and stuff like that. But once I'm asleep, I'm asleep. And I slept like a dream. Literally woke up by someone delivering over at the shop next to Pets at Home, whatever that is. And um, it's only like their tail is slamming down by the looks. When I looked over to them, I wondered what the hell it was. It really woke me up with a shake. And um, it was about three minutes before my alarm was due to go off anyway. So thanks to those guys, I haven't got the annoyance of an alarm going off in the morning. Actually saying that, this one hasn't gone off. I oh, know, because I turned it off as well. Oh dear. Right, this intro is getting a bit silly now. I just want to quickly shout out a few subs. Um, right, stood 1967-61. Um, Kirk Adventures, sorry, Kirk's Adventures. James Jones and Dale Slate Moxon, thank you for subscribing. And I had a comment as well. Uh, I don't normally read out comments, but um, James Green, he's also from Wolverhampton and he wants a shout out. So just on this one occasion, I'll shout you out from the comments. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've had a notification of you if you have subscribed so that that's the only reason why I, I wouldn't have already shouted you out so if you haven't subbed get me a sub as well <laughs> and then you'll probably get another shout out by mistake anyway we're just making our flasks up because I'm parched made myself a coffee as well flask for later on we have got 80 86 miles, I think, to go until we get to West West Dorrington or Dorrington down near Brighton. So, a nice, nice trip down to the coast if we can, if we get that close to the coast, that is. But we we're going all the way down to the bottom and then across. Looking at the maps. I think that's the better way to go. So yes. Right. Let's get on with the day. Right, so we've just got on the M27. Uh, there's quite a few ways I could have gone. Um, I could have even gone down the M1 and out from London. But um, this is the one that seemed most most comfortable with, to be honest. Uh, sorry if you can see the reflection of my high vis. I've still got my high vis on. <laughs> I don't normally put it on first thing in the morning, but of course the rabbit's put me to it. So yes, we're going to follow the M27 now. Not too far along the south coast. Well, I'm 50 miles away from where I've got to go, but the south coast is a couple of miles to the right. And it's looking like a lovely morning, isn't it, guys? Uh, 
I want a shout out to Carl Smith. He's commented saying that I didn't give him a shout out. Uh, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but I've got a sneaky feeling that I did. But never mind, there's another personal one for you, buddy. Oh dear. So we're doing, we're doing all right so far. We're a tiny bit behind schedule because of a bit of a bit of a snare up back at the M3 junction. Yes, yeah, so we've got 48 miles now to get there. And hopefully there's no more snare ups on the M27 like this one. It looks like it is going to get a bit busier actually, according to Google. Well, let's keep going. Oh dear, so what have you got planned for the weekend, guys? I uh, just want to reiterate the fact I'm going to Chuck Fest this weekend, and a couple of you are. I uh, just want to remind you again that I'll be going on Sunday, that's when I'll be in the event itself. We're actually travelling down on the Saturday and staying overnight. Off the site, not on the site. I'll be going live at some stage during the day. Uh, I've been having rough thoughts about when and where to do it roughly. And I'm going to probably base it around one of the events. So, like, I'll be at a certain place during certain events. Um, and it would be great if some of you guys could come and find me. So, like my Facebook page if you haven't already done so, if you're going. And that's the best way you'll be able to try and find me during the event on Sunday really looking forward to it um, I'm more excited for my son because he's a massive monster truck fan and he's gonna get to see a monster truck again and uh, yes it's quite funny really it's um, his ambition uh, already is to be a monster truck driver and my uh, my ambition really is to go to Canada and drive the big rigs over there. And uh, I envisage a dream of me owning a Peterbilt or a Kenworth summit and pulling around my son with his monster truck going on tour. That's a massive dream and aspiration of mine to aim for. Whether it becomes a reality, who knows. But um, everyone's got to have a dream, haven't they, guys? So. All right. We are now empty. And uh, I'm just on my break now. Everyone else here is on break by the looks. There's not much going on. So I thought I'd clear my taco. Get myself a good long, fresh four and a half hours. So we're heading back up to the Midlands. Uh, if there isn't uh, anything else for me, it'll most likely be some more houses to pick up ready for Tuesday. Tuesday. Woo! Getting excited now. I spoke to my boy just, showed him a few of the diggers and everything. Uh, it's a big, huge site. Uh, I'm not going to film it and put it much on YouTube, so I do apologise. Uh, apparently it's phase two of a huge 10 year kind of development kind of thing. So there's already phase one completed to the right. A load of nice new houses. And as far as I can see, I can see the site and then there's fields and then more houses. And literally as far as I can see up until those houses is going to be more houses. So there's a lot of work going on. And possibly a lot more trips down here to West Dorrington. I've enjoyed the trip. And now it's a long haul back up north. Alright guys, well. Unfortunately, having our break on site has become the thorn in Friday's side. Uh, there's apparently some lane closures or something ahead of us on the 42 or the 40. One of, around about the junction. So there's long delays apparently, and we are 
47 miles away from the yard. We're going to the yard now. <laughs> and we've got one hour and 11 minutes to do it. So, I'm really tempted to try and do it in one hit, but there's five minutes of delays ahead at least. Plus there's delays on the M42 to the M6, I'll assume. And the M6, my dad has not long informed me that it's busy as well. Uh, for those that know or don't know, I've got a hands-free earpiece in. You've probably seen it already anyway, just to add a disclaimer there. So I'm going to jump on Warwick Services, have myself a 45 minute break and hopefully everything will have blown over by then and we'll be all good so if I hadn't have had the break at the uh, building site I'd have had it halfway back up like when I fueled up and I'd have had plenty of time left to get back but never mind I've only got myself to uh, blame, bad planning. So these are Warwick services guys. We get to go in the special HGV area. Which is this way. Uh, da, 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 da. Coaches and vans and HGVs left. He's lost. Or she. Let's find a space. Oh, he's just pulled out there. Let's go here. Let's go here. Ah, oh, it's been a while since I got stuck needing a break like this. <coughs> Unfortunately. I've cheated myself dear, I do apologise. I got me a sub. Never mind. It's bank holiday. Deserve a little treat. So we've got to find out where we parked for a start. We're just at the end here. And there's lots and lots of people here. Looks like a lot of people have had their breaks. So, the van's still in front of me as well, so... There she is, waiting ever so patiently. <sighs> Hopefully this van will go before my brake finishes, and then we can just pull straight forward, so... Brake time. It had to happen, didn't it? Luckily I was quick enough to catch you. Other fast foods are available, by the way. Right guys, we're fed, we're watered, we're feeling guilty that we've had a subway, but we've had a subway. <laughs> uh, looking at the Google, uh, the delays have eased off a little bit, so I might just be sticking to the motorway. It's saying there's about 20 minutes of delays, so let's see if today's got any more twists and turns, shall we? Well guys, twists and turns was an understatement. Uh, I just had a colleague call me to say that the M6 has been shut between 6 and 8. <coughs> so I'd uh, just got off at the previous junction, junction 6 of the M42 to go through Birmingham on the A45, M45 way. But then just as I was waiting to go around the roundabout, he found me back up saying that it might still actually be open. All the signs are saying is a, de a delay. That, so that's, the, that's all that the actual official news is. However, there's mixed messages coming from colleagues. So we've got back on the 42. 
we got to get back on the M6 instead. The way we was going to go anyway. I wish I was just on the M40 and then on to the M5, but you know, it's just one of them choices. You can either go around the bottom or around the top, and I chose to go up and over the top. So we'll see what the M6 is actually like, shall we? Oh, here we go again. Oh, just have to push that poor soul out the middle lane. Woo. Oh my gosh. That guy's uh, clutch has gone. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. Oh dear. How much more drama in the end of this week, guys? I thought there'd been a crash, but everyone was going around that guy. And that guy behind me from Malcolm International had stopped behind him. So I blocked the hard shoulder is shut anyway, look, see the white arrow? But still cars are coming up, so I blocked the hard shoulder and lane one and just went over there and helped push him out the way to safety and hopefully ease the congestion. Oh dear. So my, some, it's just a natural reaction, that's what I did. I could see the other truck who was helping him. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Some of you might disagree, some of you might agree whether I did the right or wrong thing. I've risked, every, I've risked something, yeah. But the poor old guy in the car, he was very vulnerable, sat in the middle lane and I, I stand by my decision. So we've just pushed him out of the way. And there's another stranded vehicle up ahead, I believe. So my colleagues told me. Oh dear. And relax. Well, there was no more episodes. No more superhero antics. We're back at the yard now. We're just dieseling Cinderella up. We did diesel her on the way up. But that was just in case we got a bit short of diesel. So, we've made it. We're all good. And it's time to start the long weekend. A bit of paperwork and odds and sods. I want to thank my colleague who has kindly given me a Scania wash bag. Eh? Now I am starting to develop Tang. <laughs> His truck, he's got loads of stuff in it. Um, I'll speak to him one of the days and see if I can show you around his truck because he's got all the kit on his. He's got his. Uh, frilly curtains and his spotlights and all sorts of goodies on there so I'll ask him and show it you one of the days when I get a chance so yes I'll hopefully see some of you at Truck Fest and if I don't I shall see you all next Tuesday have a good weekend guys and take it easy